Good morning, Calvary Chapel, Murfreesboro. Our memory verse for this month is Luke chapter 6, verse 27. Let's say it together. But I say to you who hear, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you. Nothing is as transformative to the lost as a Christian person just doing good relentlessly. Once usually doesn't cut it, although it can. But a lifestyle of continually doing good under terrible circumstances can convince. The lost are cynical. Heck, even some of us are cynical. But the lost are very cynical. They use and have been used and expect to be used. And users say good things and do bad things. That's what they do. That's what the whole world is doing. Saying one thing and doing another and taking advantage of everyone all the time. That's how it's viewed and that's often how it is. And so when we as Christians come with a message of goodness, we're looked at like charlatans because so many have come before us and are now among us with messages of good who are in fact charlatans. And so actions speak louder than words. Not just one action, not just 10 actions, but a continual day in and day out lifestyle of doing good to the whole world. The world is an enemy of Christ and we are allied with Christ. Therefore, the world is in a sense our enemy and that's exactly who we're called to do good for. When the circumstances are incredibly tough in our lives, this is the time where fakers can't hang. They just can't. They fall away. And we see it all the time. When the Christian is still standing, when all else, when all others have fallen, this is when testimony can be heard, often for the first time, even though you've been saying it all along. Do good in patience, enduring not looking for immediate gratification, but hopefully expecting the fruits of the Spirit. And you'll see it, if not in their lives, certainly in your own. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, you are so good, and your blessings are overwhelming. You watch over us every day of our lives until the very end, and you love us always. Lord God, I pray a special dispensation on this family this church family, that you would guard them and that you would protect them and that you would encourage them and that you would strengthen them in your will and in your way and in your word and in your name, O oh Lord Jesus. Amen. God bless everyone. See you next week.